Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. So, we continue with the problem space and searching techniques. Okay, so there are basically two main types of uh, searching algorithm. First one is uninformed search. Okay, this is not uniform, it's uninformed. That means the searching is without any information. Okay, and the second one is the informed search. That means that we have some heuristic or intelligent search here. We have, uh, we know uh, what is in the future, okay, or the uh, the next note, okay. But uh, for uninformed search, also called as blind, exhaustive or brute for search. So we just go to the next note without knowing uh, what is the value of the next uh, note. Right. Uh, so basically, this is the two types, okay. Uninformed search, there's no heuristic. We don't have any information uh, about uh, what is the cost actually from one node to another node or what are other challenges uh, to go from nodes to another nodes. So we simply go by path. Alright, uh, so we have the def deficit search, okay, using LIFO stack. Uh, we look at this letter and also breath search, okay, uh, as well as the uh, priority queue because we have a priority then, okay. And the informed search, we have many types, okay, you can see here, best first search, problem reduction, mean analysis, health climbing, etc. But I can tell you, every searching, okay, basically, uh, it's smooth like or based from death first search or breath first search. Okay, so in order for us to use uh, searching, we need to know what are the search space. So I'm sure you remember what is the graph notes look like, okay, a tree. So, there are interconnection between nodes here. And if you look uh, here, okay, for example, if these are towns, S, A, D, E, B, C, F, and G are towns, so we can say that this is the distance, okay, or also called as weight, okay. So, if I say that from S, we need to go to E with a shortest path or the nearest path, so you will have to count what is the uh, minimum number of the uh, distance. So if you use S to A is 3, A to D is 5, so accumulated as 8. And then from D to E is another 2, so it's already 10 km. So you might use this one that is D uh, to E, which is 4 plus 2, only 6 km. Right? Uh, so this is how we represent a weight or a cost between uh, the nodes. Now, uh, for searching, okay, uh, if we look back at our example, okay, uh, to go from S to G, for example, okay, if a blind search, okay, they can just go to next node, okay. So, imagine uh, you have your cat here, okay, there are two tunnels to go to, o, to, go to A and D, okay. So, because they don't know, uh, they don't have any information about 3 or 4. Okay, so blind search, they don't have any information. They know what option they have. So, it's either go to A or D. So, your cat go to A. Okay, from A, there are another two tunnels, B and D. So, probably they, they go to the B. And then, uh, at B nodes, they have another two options, C and E. So, if they go to C, they don't meet the goal. Okay, for example, goal is here. In case of cat, okay, probably... We put a fish here and this cat might have a bad nose. I think they cannot smell. Alright. So, the cat have to uh, travel back to B. Okay. And then probably he will explore to the next E. And then go to F and then found the goal. Okay. So, there are probability that your search. Okay. In our example just now, cat get lost. So, similar your algorithm can get lost in middle. So, that's why uh, we need some control strategies to make sure that if your searching is lost, they can backtrack and go back to the previous node and explore another uh, options. Okay, so we have forward search. Okay, this is similar with our uh, inference. Okay, forward chaining, backward chaining. So forward search, basically proceed forward. Okay, and this is data directed. Now your cat is already in A. What do we have next? We have two options, whether to B and C. So, that is data directed. This is what we have. Backward search, you are already at the goal. You have to 
go backward from the goal state what are the option uh, nodes or tunnel that they can go right heuristic search depend on knowledge and the guided search okay this is like a uh, informed search or we have the for example just now i gave uh, instead of cat with a bad nose you put a cat with a good nose so they can smell uh, fish uh, and they know which tunnel is nearer to the fish you can also have a forward and backward search that is a mixture of both you can go next or you can backward right and also systematic search right now let's look at the example of uh, forward chaining okay given a rule base uh, rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 and 4 uh, using a forward chaining if we have to prove that a and b is true then d is true so because this is a forward forward chaining so it's data driven okay so you have to find from r1 to r4 about the statement first that then only you go the conclusion so this one is a and c then f okay so here already says that the a is true okay so you check with a okay we you have found the statement that a is true and then go to the second statement if a and e then g so this is another statement saying that a, a is true so this is another support for a is true rule number three if b then e okay so now you have a, you found an a uh, sentence say that b is true then e okay so basically we have proved that we have a and b as true then how do we go to how do we prove that d is true okay then we have here a and b is true then d so you can hear that you can see that here you have a statement a and e then g is true and here b is true then e okay so you have a is true b is true so b then e is true and then you already have a already true and e is also already true okay so that statement okay will infer okay or will trigger that g is true and then if the g is true then we will conclude that g is true so this statement is proven okay so i'll ask you about how to prove from a backward chaining and lastly is okay we we'll look at depth first search and breadth first search okay this is a link uh, for breadth first search and uh, depth first search uh, techniques so please watch this carefully uh, and practice with the exercise that i will give all right uh, thank you and hope you can understand this